So this is the giant Malaysian katydid. They are the largest katydid in the world, and katydids are related to grasshoppers and crickets. Their other name is actually the longhorned grasshopper, but they're more closely related to crickets because of the way they make their call. So grasshoppers rub a leg on a wing to make their call, and crickets and katydids rub their wings together. So this is the female katydid. Pronotal shield is green rather than brown, and that's the little triangle at the top. The males are brown, but they're about the same size. This right here is called an ovipositor, and she uses that to lay her eggs into rotting wood and moss. So katydids look like leaves to help them camouflage because they don't actually move a lot. They're very stationary creatures. So as they age, they age like leaves. So you can see she looks like she's rotting back here, but that's actually part of her camouflage. So when they're first born as an adult, when they first molt into their adult stage, they're bright green and they look like a healthy new leaf. And you can basically age them looking at how brown they really are in the back. So she is about three months or four months old because these guys only live to be six months in their adult stage. So Katie dids are a little strange because they taste with their feet, they hear with their front knees, and they smell with their antenna. So you can actually even see their holes in their front knees right here where they hear. And because of their use for their antenna, they're very sensitive, so we don't touch them. She will touch you with them, however. Their defense is to throw their feces as far away from them as possible. Because they're stationary and they're so camouflaged, their predators can't really see them, but they'd be able to smell them if they defecated right where they're staying. So their idea is to throw it as far away so they're looking in the other tree rather than where the katydid is. So katydids don't really hop like other grasshoppers or crickets, but they are capable of flight. So the wings are covered by the leaf looking body and they open up and she has some very clear wings that she's capable of some short flight bursts. Recently we've actually had Katie did babies hatching here. They hatch out of this eggs that look like melon seeds and they only they have a very short period waiting in the egg. They only take uh, probably about two months to hatch. So that's just a little bit about our Katie dids. Tune in next time to learn more about one of our other creatures.